So we're going to talk about communicating confidently and who better to bring to the table than Janine Driver. She's a former ATF investigator. She's negotiated with criminals. And what kind of negotiations? Firearms? Firearms trafficking. Yeah. Okay. So she might be able to help you negotiate at work just a little bit more effectively. She's a communications expert and a body language expert. And I remember I was so excited to have you at my New York Know Your Value event. You came in the audience from the other side of the room. Yes. And you got up on stage and you talked about how men are like, Hey, I'm taking the week off next week. And women, and women are, like, are like, can I have 4th of July off? Yeah, and look at, look at your shoulders. Please. We are shruggers. We shrug and All we day ask. Long. Yeah. And the, is that communicating confidence? No, a shrug is uncertainty. Right. What do you want for lunch? A BLT, a salad? I don't know. What do you want? So when we ask for something, How do we, do we it, are hurting our message. How do we do it? Instead, I like this one. So when we steeple people, we intimidate people. Right. And the higher the steeple, the more we intimidate people. And guys do this one all the time. Okay. And do what you're doing here. Smoking okay. hot and confident. Look right. at this. You're taking up space. You're like a dog in heat. You're being mm -hmm. in the perimeter, I'm marking in your, your territory. Yes. I'm in your space a little bit. This is all confidence. It says, I belong here. I know what I'm talking about. And keep, for the love of God, for the women out there, keep your hands where we can see them. When you hide your hands on your lap, you are sending the message you need reassurance. Put them on the table. What about eyes? Because I'm looking you right in your face. We look from the eyebrows to the nose. About 60% eye contact, Mika, is appropriate in the United States. 80% is intimidating. So ladies, don't be afraid to kick it up a notch. Yeah, and that's hot. What, this is my favorite move. It's yeah. called an elbow pop. Oh, right what is here. that? This is Liz Taylor used to do this with the long cigarettes saying, look at me, boys. Look at yeah. me. Look at how confident I look. It's casual. It's confident. I'm taking up space, and I'm saying I belong here. Don't women need to practice this? And isn't this important? I mean, it is kind of funny to have us playing it out here. Yes. But I also think it's a dead serious part of negotiating. Listen, and and with every facet of your life. If you don't practice it, it won't be there when you need it. If you think that because you learn a tip here and you're going to do it in the interview or when the negotiation happens, it's not going to show up or it's going to seem awkward. So what is this telling You've you? You've got to practice. When you become small, you become a smaller target and you say, don't take me seriously. I call this a, a tall, skinny candle. What happens when you bump a table and there's a a tall skinny candle on it it tips over look at my legs are all yeah when you crisscross your legs like this again yeah. you're a small target these are called pacifiers please don't hurt me please don't hurt me or please don't Boom. believe me and please don't give me a raise janine driver thank you so much you're welcome mika hey nbc news viewers thanks for checking out our youtube channel subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.